Well, as firefighters race to burning buildings, they face deadly hazards beyond just the flames, and that includes these days a higher risk for cancer. Certainly does, Melissa, and the focus of a new study. And tonight in a 13 News special report, 13's Daniela Leon with an up-close look at where the threat may be hiding. Daniela? Ralph and Melissa, an unseen danger is lurking in those flames now more than ever. We teamed up with the Solar Township Fire Department to find out what exactly is causing this risk. Cancer is becoming an all too familiar danger for this group of heroes. According to a 2010 study by the Centers for Disease Control, firefighters on average have a higher risk for certain types of cancer. It takes a lot more strength and stamina for these firefighters to go do the job that they used to do uh, like I did 40 years ago. With the help of Topeka for Humanity Restore and Ferris Wheel Antiques, Soldier Township firefighters showed us exactly what that means. We furnished two rooms, one with solid wood chairs and coverings made from natural fibers. See, that's leather. See, that's a leather pad right there. This is a real antique furniture here. Firefighters call it a legacy room. Next to it, a room you typically see today with overstuffed couches, computer chairs, and a laminate desk. We are now getting ready to light both sets of furniture up, all while comparing how fast, how hot, and how toxic each set will burn. Volunteer firefighter Scott Monk lights the legacy room. The chairs slowly catch fire. Heavy smoke starts to seep the room. It's mainly kind of contains itself to a more of an area or room versus the uh, heavy smoke. And see, we can still see into there really easily, and we're not seeing the, the hot. At its hottest, the temperature in the room reaches 1,000 degrees. When we put out the fire 30 minutes later and test it for toxins, only carbon monoxide levels register. It takes a lot more for this stuff to off gas and create the smoke or the gas itself that can burn than what we're going to get with the other stuff because when, when we start talking about overstuffed furniture with the uh, foam padding and the, the rayons and the nylons and stuff that to use on the furnishings we're basically talking about gasoline that's in a solid form and this stuff isn't it's not it's not gasoline it's a combustible product it's not a flammable product now watch the modern room the flames quickly spread, devouring the couch. See how that fire is coming across the top of that couch? Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. See how the chairs are? The yeah. The chairs, are, if you can see them. Producing distinctive fumes. It's it's a nasty smell. Is what it is, and it, it uh, in our in this case, it's going to smell kind of like trash burning, um, and or uh, plastic burning in this and with this kind of stuff. The uh, the smoke is much heavier already, and we're just into it for a short period of time. Within just seven minutes, the room is engulfed, reaching temperatures as high as 3,500 degrees. This time, the tests for toxins show carbon monoxide levels almost double what was found in the legacy room. And we also register hydrogen cyanide, a known carcinogen. We've, we've learned the hard way. Uh, we're killing our firefighters that. We're causing respiratory problems for them. We're causing uh, heart-lung issues, uh, you know, liver issues, uh, cancer with that, and kidneys and that kind of stuff. So and it's all because we ingest, inhale, and absorb all this stuff uh, into our bodies. Pretty shocking. Tomorrow night, we are finding out how the Soldier Township Fire Department is protecting their men and women on the line and digging closer as to just how vulnerable our volunteer firefighter, firefighter Scott Monk was during the experiment. Firefighters face a lot of obvious danger as they rush into the flames to save people and property. But there's one risk you might not think much about, and that's cancer. And that's not right away. It develops over weeks and months and years. 13's Daniela Leon is back with Melissa and me tonight with a look at the growing evidence and it's sparking new safety measures protecting our firefighting heroes. Daniela? Ralph and Melissa's study shows 65% of firefighters will get cancer at some point. And even though the evidence is there, according to one former firefighter, not enough is being done to protect our heroes. This side-by-side -side look shows house fires with today's synthetic materials and modern furnishings burn hotter and faster than a home with materials we used decades ago. And it's also more toxic. Soldier Township volunteer firefighter Scott Monk lit both rooms for this demonstration. 
Even though he kept a safe distance, his helmet and uniform are covered in soot. This is off his helmet, which was clean prior to the fire. This is the soot that came off of his helmet. And this is the soot that came off of the bottle on his back, the air pack bottle. Tim Millsbaugh, Kansas director of the Firefighter Cancer Support Network, says our modern room fire sent out this many toxins into the air as the flames burn through our furniture synthetic materials. And this list is only about 10% of them. These are much more toxic. The heat wears firefighters down. The heat also opens up their pores and their skin. The pores absorb the soot that I've got on my fingers here that uh, goes in the skin, and that's the biggest problem we have now is absorption of carcinogens. Millspell was a firefighter for more than 30 years. He has been diagnosed with skin cancer twice and believes it came from the job. I had a cancer here, which is right where the bottom of that hood sits, and gravity drains all of that sweat and all of those carcinogens down into the bottom of that hood, and it lays right in the neck. That's exactly where my skin cancer was at, and also another skin cancer at the right there where the top of my boot sits. Studies show areas where Millspa obtained his cancer are areas where firefighters are most vulnerable. According to the International Association of Firefighters, 65% of them will get cancer at some point. More than 30 states have laws establishing a presumption that certain cancers in firefighters stem from chronic exposure. The presumption allows families to collect enhanced retirement, pension benefits, workers' compensation, and disability benefits. While Kansas mentions cancer in their presumptive disability law, Millsball says the language used is ambiguous and doesn't offer enough protection. There are some issues with it. Number one, the, the fight on that is if I, if I tell the state or whoever it may be that I have cancer from firefighting, they might say, which chemical were you exposed to? I'd say, all of them, all of them. Okay, which fire caused your cancer? I don't know, I've been to hundreds of fires. The Soldier Township Fire Department is doing what it can. Each firefighter is outfitted with more than $10,000 in protective gear. As soon as they return from a scene, their equipment goes into a special washing machine for cleansing and drying, machines that cost up to $25,000 and they wash themselves as best as they can. They can't change what's in fires, but they can educate themselves to hopefully change their risk. Education is the biggest thing to me. Uh, so we can cut that 65% down to 50%, 40%, whatever it may be. And for more information, you can, you can go to the Kansas Firefighter Cancer Support Network. Their link is posted to our website.